Hi everybody, this is John with Rolo Printer. Today I will be showing you how to install the Mac driver for your Rolo. The first step is actually downloading the Mac driver and you can do so by either uh, following the setup guide, step two, and clicking on download Mac driver here. You can also get to the Mac driver um, by going to the download driver link at the top and clicking on the Mac driver download. So for now, I'll just click on the download Mac driver that's available here. After you download the file, uh, we would want to open it, and this is what you should be seeing. Now, we highly recommend that you open and follow the step-by-step -step guide that's provided here um, as well. Uh, essentially, it is going to cover the same steps that I will be showing you in this video. To begin the installation, we'll double-click on this package file right here. And this part is pretty straightforward. We're just going to click on Continue, Install, and when we are prompted for the uh, password, we'll put in our Mac password here. And we'll click Close. All right, so now we have installed the software. Now we need to add Rolo to your Mac. We can do that by going to your uh, System Preferences, which you can do by going up here and go to System Preferences or just clicking on the icon uh, if that's easier. In here, we'll click on Printers and Scanners. Select this plus sign to indicate we want to add a new printer. Now, assuming that Rolo is connected and the power is turned on, you should see the thermal printer show up on this list. From here, we'll highlight the thermal printer and use this drop-down menu to select, select software. On this list, we'll filter for Rolo printer, select it, click OK, click Add, and now we have the printer installed. And the green light indicates that it is ready to print. The next thing I'd like to show you is actually printing your very first label. So we can close this. There is a sample PDF file included um, in your installer prompt, uh, which I will now open. So here's our label. And uh, what's nice about this label is that it doesn't have any extra spaces. It is in the correct orientation. The ratio is correct for a 4 by 6 label. And this is, generally speaking, the type of label uh, that you can expect from most softwares, applications, and websites that generate 4 by 6 labels. The orientation is correct. Everything about this label is good. So um, by the way, just a quick side note, if your labels are opening within Safari, Safari adds some extra margins and so forth uh, to it. So what we recommend is either opening your labels with Chrome, uh, Firefox, opening it with the Mac preview application, or the best of all, opening it with Adobe Reader if it is in PDF format. So um, anyhow, this is now open in preview. And um, to print, I will go to File and select Print. This is our dialog box. And um, the only thing we really need to change is under paper size um, the first time we're printing. By default, Mac uh, puts it to 8.5 by 11 inches, so there is plenty of sizes available here. Uh, most commonly, shipping label sizes are 4 by 6 or 100 by 150 millimeters. In this case, I'll choose 4 by 6. And uh, the preview looks good, so we could actually go ahead and hit print here. Uh, I'd like to show you one more thing, and that is under printer features here. You have some additional options in regards to darkness and print speed. So darkness, uh, fairly self-explanatory if your prints are coming out too dark, if your source file is kind of really strong in uh, black color or the lines are really close to each other, you could try to reduce the darkness um, and uh, in, a, in the same fashion, if your label is kind of like grayish color, you could increase the darkness from this drop-down menu. 
The print speed, uh, by default, Rolo prints at its fastest speed. If your label file is um, of a lower quality, you might see uh, improvements if you reduce the print speed. But for most applications, most websites, you, you'll never have to make any adjustments to here. So with that said, I paper size is set to 4 by 6. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit print. And that was sent to the Rolo printer. That's it. That's the Mac installation for your Rolo printer. If you have any questions or if you'd like any assistance, uh, Rolo support is available. Um, you can visit the Rolo printer website and just click on support on how to's on the top right corner. Thank you for watching and happy printing.